Now, this first story is via Variety, uh, if you don't mind me saying so. So Star Trek IV. We'll see. Star Trek IV, Mason. Mm, new Star Trek IV. That's right. So that's in the abrams averse, the Kelvin timeline, if mm. you will, the Chris pine verse. Yes. That has been pulled, not surprisingly. Named after Kelvin McAllister, the lead character from Home Alone. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, or Kelvin, the character, <laughs> ship to shore. We're doing too many riffs, Mason. We're doing too many riffs and we need to get on with this. All, all right, right, fine. All right. I yeah. mean, I loved my ship to shore riff, but I'm going to have to. That's great. <laughs> I feel we didn't dwell enough in the ship to shore riff. I think you just said it and you moved on. <laughs> and I think we, we should be more time. You could have you could have done the theme. I could have. Do you want to do a little bit? Just now? That's enough. Okay. It's enough riffing. But that we, wasn't a V-show. But to be clear, we know the rest. Yes, we do. Uh, so it's been pulled from the 2023 schedule. Not surprising because, of course, Matt Shackman, he left – that project to work on Fantastic Four. Uh, do you think there's a possibility, though, mm-hmm. seeing as he, he left, that maybe J.J. Abrams is about to get fired from Warner Brothers like everybody else mm. and he's going to make a triumphant return to Star Trek, which everybody would love? Maybe. Because the studio would go like, what was our biggest one? It's probably 2009, I assume. Yeah, the first one, right? Uh, yeah. Probably not adjusted for inflation, but mm. I would say as in terms of raw data. I think so. There'd be a big enough data. There'd be a big enough. No- oh, there'd be yeah. a big enough number there mm. uh, to, to for them to be impressed and go, yeah, we could do with another of those big numbers. Thank you. Do you think it would be worth maybe making a movie around the stuff that people like about the new stuff, like doing a Strange New Worlds movie? Uh huh. You know, they're doing like a Cobra Kai. Well, they're doing a new karate community yeah, that's right, not right. related to Cobra Kai. Mm-hmm. Is, do you think they should do something like that instead of going back to the well of the old I, I, Yeah, I mean, universe, I, probably, but also I, I feel like. The, the new universe, you know yeah. what I mean. Look, I know, I know we talk about how uh, TV is just like movies these days, but I feel like there is still a stigma of mm, we can't get TV guys. Yeah. I mean, there is precedent in Star Trek for and that. They, they you know, literally did that. They literally yeah. did that, but I don't know if. Well, they did it with. They did it with, you know, original series and the next generation. That's true. They did, yeah, I guess. So, so I, I, you know, in saying that, I guess you're right. It is the only franchise really where they just mm. went, let's do a – And it's, but all, also, but also it's that, all cast. Yeah. It would be cheaper. You get all the creatives involved. Keep the, keep the sets. Keep the sets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, I mean, that being said, though – Maybe you could make a new set. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We could destroy an enterprise, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We could true. crash an enterprise, though. Yeah. That being said, though, I feel like – the next gen characters making the jump to the movies was in an era where next gen was a huge hit on TV, and even people who didn't really know Star Trek were like, "Oh yeah, okay, that, that's a big hit on TV. I and know about that." Transition from old Trek to new, yeah. As well. But this yeah. is kind of there's so many options now. I yeah. think if you were like Star Trek: Strange New Worlds, people would go, "Okay, is this the J.J. Abrams one, or is yeah. this is this Kirk again?" You'd have to be like, "No, it's on." Paramount, Paramount Plus, or whatever. maybe or another channel. Yeah. Maybe it's on Hulu or something. Whereas, suppose they could go like. Chris Pine is, tra- is teaming up with Chris Pratt, which is one of the ideas. Mm. Not Chris Pratt. No, no, Chris, Chris Pine Hemsworth. and Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, what Pratt. doesn't matter? Two yeah. Chris's. <laughs> we've rolled the dice. We've, we've got a Two three- Chris's. Yes. Chris's. Is That's that anything? Good. Yes, two Chris's. <laughs> That's good. That's good with the brains pumping. Good, good, This try. is how we do this. Yeah. A spin doctor's reference. <laughs> so, so for those who probably remember or vaguely Pocket full remember, of kryptonite, their you. big hit album. Chris, po- uh, Chris Hemsworth played... Chris Pine's Kirk's father in the original Star That's Trek. That's correct, yes. And there was an idea to bring them together in a timeline thing. Yes. And I think with name recognition alone, I yep. think that could do really well, but that would cost a lot. Chris Pine riding high, high, of course, off Don't Worry Darling. Don't even worry, babe. That's right. It's called in Australia. <laughs> She'll be right, babe. Mm. Yeah. I feel I've done She'll Be Apples quite recently, so I'm not going to do it You're again. You're not going to do it again? I'm not going to do it again, yeah. Yeah, great. Terrific. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I need to actually get caught up on all my track. Actually, I've been watching um, Lower Decks, Lower Decks, which is thrilling. So I'm really enjoying that. Uh, Mason, you might have seen the imagery this week for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, a piece of concept. I did say that. It said yes. something like 500 years after the last uh, okay. production on this begins next month from director Wes Ball, who did the Maze Runner trilogy, Ooh. which I watched the first one and I'm like, oh, that was pretty good. I like that. I all think, right, I, think all I like right. that one. Mm-hmm. So it's going to pick up many years after the end of 2017's War for the Planet of the Apes. That's very interesting because if the, the last piece of Planet of the Apes news I remember Detritus. hearing about was that the the next Planet of the Apes movie was going to be a reboot yet again. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. So um, it, it was going to be like, okay, we're just we're just going to do another planet. It was, it was going to be unconnected to the previous ones. But it turns out 
Uh, they know what side their bread's buttered on and they know that people like those previous ones and they think, well, let's do a sequel. I'm really glad they went in that direction. Also, it may as well be a reboot. It's 500 years in the future. Yes, exactly. Cares, yeah. right? So all the, all the characters we know and love, most of them died in the previous movies and that, that – Cobra fell down a big shaft. Do you remember that? He fell down a thing yeah, he went, and ah, exploded. Um, somebody catch me. So all the all the apes we know from the previous movies are dead. Yes. Uh, unless they've found the fountain of youth. Unless no, it's and, also a universe in which there is a fountain of youth. Spoiler alert, like Caesar dies, doesn't he, in the last one? Yes. Five years old at this point. Well, I can spoil that, right? <laughs> I think so. I mean, and he would be dead anyway. Yes, because, because of the 500 years. 500 years or whatever. Unless they're, once again, the fountain of youth or mm-hmm. something in their genetics enables them to live 500 years. Et cetera and so forth. Yeah. Um, these are... These are great. They are great. So more please. Matt Reeves directed two of the last three. How do you feel about the name Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? What would you prefer? Um, A bunch of apes mucking about. (laughs) But they're smart. Brackets, but they're smart apes. Extra brackets. I'm extending that. Yes, go on. They're flinging poo. Whoa. (laughs) There's some things that are innate, wow. you know? It's I, a yeah, metaphor. I, I was thinking they'd be flinging Proust because they're so... <laughs> What's Proust? You know, the Marcel Proust, the author. Because <laughs> they're very... Uh, yeah. they're, they're very. They can read? Well, I mean, 500 years. So no, it's true, to say yeah. what they can do. They're probably caught up on all sorts of They're Marcel flinging Proust. riffs. They could be flinging riffs 500 they years They probably should, couldn't they? Mm-hmm. That just happened, they'd say. <laughs> flying, throwing poo at mm-hmm. each other and yeah. Proust. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the future... Go on. Trailers of Hoy Mason for The <laughs> Last of Us. Mm. Last of Us has a brand new trailer. That's right. Uh, it looks very much like the game. It's got, of course, yeah. the Mandalorian himself and the little the little girl from Game of Thrones who was mean. A human Grogu. That's right. <laughs> a human Grogu. That's yeah. really good. All his future castmates will be compared to Grogu or not Grogu. A hundred percent. You are right. Yes. What did you think of this trailer? If you did indeed, I watch didn't. It? I did watch it. It looks. It looks. Uh, it looks expensive. It looks expensive. It looks suitably dreary and sad, which yeah. is the Last of Us universe. We've got to look at the clickers, the, yeah, the very humans good, yeah. that are sort of infected with that zombie fungal disease. Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman is in this. Yes. Yeah. So it's um, apparently it's going to adhere pretty closely to the the games. The the creator behind the game is also heavily involved in the series. Mm. I'm interested to see like what could it do, like if it's just doing the games. What why would What's good? What's diff? What's good about it? Like in addition yeah. to, mm. uh, but it honestly it looks really great. Other it? cast members include uh, Gabriel Luna's in it. Oh, he's good. And a Torv, who you might know from uh, the uh, TV series Fringe. I've never seen Fringe. Uh, the show and uh, says you. That's it. Says that's you. all the people. Uh, oh, and Melanie Linsky, of course, who's in uh, Yellow Jackets. Oh, I like the Yellow. Yeah. Uh, watched yeah. that both seasons that are currently out. Very good. Uh, that's going to be out sometime in 2023. I would say probably in the first half if they've. Releasing a trailer for it, yes. I'd imagine. But uh, that's very exciting, and we will watch it when it comes out, won't we, Mason? We will watch it. Or we it. forget because we're swamped with content.